You know what's better than one Easter egg sign? How about two Easter egg signs? Yes, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do two completely different signs. I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree wooden eggs. This is Jo Marie Domino. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing some decoupaging today. I'm going to be using Mod Podge decoupage glue and beautiful napkins to create these signs. I'm also going to be showing you how to do the iron-on method. So I'm going to show you how I use this little iron. Also, at the end, I have a little hack on making these cute little Easter ornaments. If these are the kind of videos you like to watch and projects, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. Please share and don't forget to hit the little bell because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. Okay, so let's start with this little bunny sign first. Here's my Dollar Tree egg. I took off the tag, we're not going to need that. Now we're going to be putting Mod Podge on two coats. I'm using matte. I've already done part of this egg, so I'm going to now do the bottom half and I'm just gonna brush it on really well. And remember, we're going to be using the iron-on technique. That's going to mean we have to make sure we get all the edges with the Mod Podge. Okay, so we're gonna put all the Mod Podge stuff away and now we're going to use the little circle. That's where the two bunny heads go. I took a piece of pretty heavy cardstock and to get that size circle, it fits the two bunnies, I actually used my dog's dish. It was clean, but it was exactly the right size. I'm going to take a pencil and I'm gonna trace all the way around the bowl. I'm gonna give the bowl back to my dog and then I'm going to use a scissor to cut it out just like that, but I've already have one done, so we're going to use that. Next, onto painting. Okay, now onto painting the circle. Um, see, the bunnies fit perfect inside that size. Okay, I'm using plain white chalk paint. You can use any white paint that you want, and I'm going to start to paint the circle. Now, the reason I'm painting it is because the cardboard that I chose is actually kind of more gray than it is white, but I'm still only going to need one coat of paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the entire circle. The circle's all dry, and now we're ready to put a coat of Mod Podge, just one coat. Now we're going to be using the iron-on, so that's going to have to dry just like the egg. On the egg, I'm going to be putting on a piece of scrapbook paper. Okay, so we're gonna put the Mod Podge on, and we're gonna start spreading it around, and oops, that was a piece of dried Mod Podge, and I hate when that happens, but we got it off, so everything is okay. So we're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna go around all of the edges, just like that. Then when we're done, we're gonna be able to put it off to the side to dry, and then we can move on to the egg. Okay, so the egg is all dry from the first coat, and now we're gonna put coat number two on, and it's the same way. We're just gonna squirt the uh, Mod Podge glue on, and we're gonna put it all the way around, and remember the edges. The glue is all dry, and we're ready to put the napkin on. Now, the way we're gonna put the napkin on is we're going to be using the iron-on method. This is the iron I'm using. It has three different settings, and when it's green, it's all ready to go, and it has a cute little holder. All right, so we're gonna open up the bunny napkin, and we're just going to be using one square and we can save those other three squares for a different project. So we're just gonna cut it out like this. And once you have the whole thing cut out, put the other ones aside. Now we're going to separate the panels. I'm gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge, put it between my fingers and press and remove those back plies because with decoupage, we only use that top printed ply. Look how nice it is and we don't need those. Okay, so now we wanna line it up on the circle the best we can so it's kind of centered and you can see it through the napkin because the napkin is very sheer and I think I have it in a good spot. So now I'm gonna put on top a piece of baking parchment. The baking parchment will protect the napkin and protect the iron. Okay, so I'm going to start to iron it and then, oops, I moved the parchment paper. Okay, let me just position it in the right spot again. Okay, got it. All right, so I'm gonna take the iron and I'm gonna go over it. I'm going to move it around. And what's happening is the heat from the iron is melting the glue, the dry Mod Podge glue. So the napkin is adhering perfectly to that circle. So you just wanna keep going around, especially the edges to make sure it's well adhered. Okay, let's take a look. 
Oh, it looks really, really nice. Look how nice that looks. Okay, well, we're going to have to remove those edges that you see around the circle. And I'm going to use an emery board or a nail file to do that. So I'm just going to take the nail file. And I'm just going to, on downward stroke, just kind of file off the edges until it's all gone. There you go. Now we're ready for the okay, next step. So the egg is all dry and now we're ready to put on the piece of scrapbook paper. This is the piece I chose, had a nice subtle little dotted print and I'm gonna put that right on top, make sure the whole egg is covered. And again, I'm gonna take a piece of baking parchment, I'm gonna put it down on top and I'm going to start to use the iron. And again, the iron, it's melting the glue underneath and that's why the scrapbook paper is going to adhere. Now, scrapbook paper is not like a napkin. It is heavier, so it's going to take a little bit more time to get the piece of paper to adhere to the wood. So you wanna go over it like you normally would, check those edges just to make sure it's really well adhered. Now I'm gonna take a little look, see how it's going. And it looks to me like maybe the bottom, I think, needs to have a little bit more ironing. So I'm just going to put the baking parchment back on, and I'm just going to go over it again with the iron, just like this. I just want to make sure that it's completely adhered before I remove any of that excess on there. So just continue to go over, let the iron melt the glue so everything sticks. And when you remove the edges, it's going to be really, really nice. Oh, it looks really good. I think we're ready to take off the edges. Okay, the scrapbook paper is all cooled, and now we're ready to remove the excess that's hanging off the edge. Now, you can do it the way I did it with the bunnies and take a file and just go all the way around, and it'll come off really nicely. However, the scrapbook paper is a little heavy, and it's going to take a while to do it that way. So, it's okay. In this case, we're just going to go all the way around the egg with a pair of scissors, and it's going to do a really good job removing all of that extra scrapbook paper that's there, and that's okay. And once we get it off with the scissor, you know, we can always go back in with the nail file, and if there's any little pieces of paper hanging off, we could just continue to go like that till the edge is nice and even and smooth. All right, let's see. That bunny's gonna look really cute on there. Okay, now we're ready to attach the bunnies to the eggs, but I thought that was kind of flat, so I decided I was gonna add some of these tumbling tower blocks to the back of it just to raise it up some. So I'm going to take the three, just three little blocks and I'm going to put them on the back. So I'm going to use hot glue, of course, and I'm going to put it onto the blocks and I'm going to put one in the center. And then I decided I would do one on each side. And I thought that three would definitely be enough um, to keep it um, above the egg. Okay. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. So now we're going to glue it to the egg itself, so it's a little bit more hot glue, like that. And I'm gonna turn it over and put it on. I have like about a second or two just to make sure you have it in the right spot. And I'm pressing it down, and let's see. That looks really, really good. Okay, so now we're ready to do the next step, which is flowers. I'm gonna be putting flowers on the top, and I'm gonna be putting some flowers on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those. I put all my florals exactly where I wanted, and now I'm ready to start to attach. So I took some of the greenery, and I decided to put a little bit on the top, and a little bit on the bottom. And you know, I wanna tell you, when I went into the Dollar Tree, well, first of all, they had so many beautiful florals. And again, you've heard me say this, but their florals have just gotten so much nicer. And everything that's on this sign, that all came from one sprig. I couldn't believe it. I was so surprised, but it's so, so pretty. So um, the lavender that you see on the sides, and I'm going to blue, uh, glue on in a couple of minutes, um, really matched the bunny sign. It was almost like these florals <laughs> went along perfectly with that napkin. So um, I thought that just enough greenery with the top and with the bottom is really, really pretty. And now you'll see when I put that lavender on, how it curves. I mean, it was amazing. Sometimes, you know, things just kind of come together. That looks really nice. I'm really pleased with how this is working out. So when I did my first one, um, I decided to put um, extra flowers along the side. But when I got ready to do the video, I thought, you nah, know, it's just a little bit too much. It was the lavender. But 
I still thought it needed a little bit more of a pop of color. So I found these um, little flowers. I don't know. They looked like miniature roses. I wasn't really sure when I first picked them up. And then I realized it was wildflowers. And you know, I found one. It was the only one they had, but it was the perfect color. Really, really pretty. So when I cut them apart, I noticed that they have a nice long stem, which is great because it made it so easy for me to just kind of tuck inside there and I could work with it until I got it exactly the way I wanted. Look how pretty that is. Okay, sign number one with the little bunnies is all done. I really love how it came out. It's very vintage looking. And now we're on to sign number two. So we're gonna remove the tag. We're not going to need that. But however, we are going to put a coat of paint on the sign this time, only because I'm using napkins and the napkins is sheer unlike the scrapbook paper was. So with the coat of paint on it, the napkin colors are really going to pop. Now I'm using white chalk paint. It's what I have the most of, but you can use any white acrylic paint that you have on hand. The paint is all dry and now we're ready to put our Mod Podge on. So what we're going to do is because we're using the iron on method, we're going to do two coats of Mod Podge and we're going to, oops, we're going to let each coat dry before we put the second coat on. Now, Dollar Tree wood um, really sucks up the paint and it sucks up the glue. So you definitely want to make sure that you've covered the entire egg really, really well. Okay, so the first coat is wet. We're gonna put it off to dry. Okay, now we're ready to put the three different napkins onto the egg. Okay, now this is the one I chose for the middle. It's pretty pink floral and I cut it nice and straight on the top and on the bottom because I want it to line up with the napkins that are gonna go one on the top and one below it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Mod Podge on my fingers and I'm gonna separate the napkin. So remember, we only need the top fly and we'll put that aside. Okay, so now we're gonna line it up on the egg just the way we want it. Okay. We're gonna do the iron on again now and oops, you know, <laughs> napkins are so light when you're working with them and any little tiny bit of breeze and they blow away. So you wanna really try to hold on to them. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of parchment and I'm gonna put it down on top. And by the way, I did put two coats of Mod Podge on and I let it dry. Just so you know, um, two coats did go on there. Okay, so now we're gonna iron it. And I'm gonna try to stay right on the part where the napkin is. All right, let's take a look. Well, that looks nice. Okay, now I chose this really pretty blue floral. I love how it looks up against that pink. So I'm moving the napkin around because I wanna pick a spot that I really like um, that's going to be on the bottom part of the uh, egg, and I really like that. So again, I'm gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge, <laughs> put it between my fingers, and I'm just going to pull the plies apart like that. Sometimes it's easier and faster than other times. A little bit more glue. There we go, we got it. Okay, so we're gonna take the back flies off again and we're not gonna need them. We're just gonna put them aside. And now we're ready to put the bottom one on. Okay, so we're gonna line it up as close as we can, as best as we can, directly underneath the pink floral. I'm holding it with my hand. I'm not taking any chances with, the, <laughs> with any breeze. Okay, then I'm gonna, again, go over it with the iron and make sure that it adheres very nicely. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Okay, so I think before we go ahead and do the um, pansies up on top, I am gonna cut some of this excess off because it's just getting in the way. Okay, good. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it around. It's easier to work that way for me. And this is the floral I chose, also very pretty. And I'm kind of doing the same thing. I move it around until I find a spot that I really like, um, especially on a pattern floral like this. And you can move it around till you find a spot that you like, and that goes with the, uh, the floral, uh, in this case, the floral below it. All right, so we're gonna line it up again. Same thing. Okay, take our parchment, of course put it back on top. And again, I'm holding that because I do not want a breeze to move that, um, that napkin again, like it just didn't. Okay. We're just going to iron it again. Okay. Almost done. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. 
We have all three pieces of the napkin on there. But, you know, I am going to put the um, parchment back down on top because I'm going to go over it one more time. I just want to make sure that it's adhered really well to the egg. Remember, that glue under the iron is melting, and that's why the napkin is adhering itself to the wooden egg. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, that's really nice. I love that combination of um, napkins. Okay, so now we have all that excess. We want to get rid of that edge. So I'm going to take my nail file and I'm just going to start to file it down a downward stroke until I can start to remove all of that extra, not needed, excess napkin that's hanging okay, off the edge. Okay, all three pieces of napkin are on. The edges have been cleaned up. And now I thought it'd be really nice to finish off the egg by putting some twine all the way around. So I'm using my hot glue and I'm putting it on the edge. I'm trying not to put too much on. And then I'm gonna press it down along the sides. And you see, I am wearing my finger protector. It's very important when you're working with hot glue. Okay, I'm gonna put some more glue on. And sorry for the awkwardness. Um, the glue gun is usually on my left side and not on my right side. <laughs> so it's a little awkward for me. All right, and we're gonna press it down some more. Okay, and I'm gonna do that all the way around the egg. Okay, so I finished the cording all the way around the edge. And now I'm going to put a piece on the top and on the bottom separating the napkins. So I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna run along a little line of glue, go in between the napkins like that. And we'll take some of the cording and I'm gonna lay it down there. I'm gonna to try to get it on there as straight as I can and press it down so it's going to adhere well. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we're just gonna trim off that piece over there. Okay, now we're gonna do the lower one and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna put down some glue all the way across, some hot glue. And then we're going to take the cording again and we're going to line it up down there just try to get it as straight as we can and then press it down so it adheres well okay very good all right so now let's trim off all of that extra cording from the side nice and neat okay Okay, so now we're going to add the word Easter. This is one of those galvanized words that um, is sold by the Dollar Tree. I gave it like three coats of white chalk paint and I loved it up against that pink floral. So again, we're gonna take some of our hot glue and we're gonna very carefully put it on the back of the word Easter. Okay, and when I think we have enough, which I think we're almost there, yep, we're gonna put it down on top of the pink floral. Look at that. Oh, that looks really nice up against the pink, that white. It's very pretty. Okay, so it looks like Easter egg number two is now ready. Okay, and there, Easter egg number one. Okay, now before you go any place, I have one sneak little project. For okay, you. now I'm on to my bonus project, and I'm using these little wooden shapes. I got them from the Dollar Tree. They're like their Easter spring collection. I'm gonna be using the iron on method. All right, here's my chick. I already gave it a coat of white paint. And I'm gonna put on some Mod Podge. I'm gonna squirt some on. And that is probably more than I needed to put on there. This is a small ornament. So I'm gonna to have to very carefully spread all of that Mod Podge around so I get a nice even coat like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take the napkin. Okay, I'm not waiting for it to dry. Okay, I'm skipping a whole step. And I'm gonna lay it right on top of the chick. I'm gonna very gently smooth it with my fingers. Okay, now I'm gonna take a plastic bag. This isn't saran wrap, it's heavier. I'm gonna say like a Ziploc. And I'm going to smooth it with my fingers because this bag is protecting the napkin as well. Because you know the napkin is wet from the Mod Podge. I'm gonna very carefully remove it. Okay, we'll put that aside. Let's take a look. Okay, there's our little chicky. Okay, that's wet, so I'm going to put that off to the side. It has to dry. So I have some already done. These are completely dry, and I'm ready to go on to the next step, which is to iron it, okay? I'm skipping a whole nother step. And remember, this is good for small things like these ornaments, okay? So I'm just gonna do the same thing I do with um, iron-on. It's got the parchment on top, and I'm gonna run the iron over so the glue melts. Let's take a look. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, let's go on to the carrot. Same thing. And by the 
way, I get my napkins from Vippy's Designs. They have tons of napkins. You can go to their website, www.vippies.com, see everything they have. They also have a Facebook page and they have an Instagram. I post things there and they always post their newest napkins. So it's always fun to see the new stuff. Okay. And then we're going to go over this one. I love using up my napkin scraps like this. It's the little bunny. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's a little bunny. Okay, so let's go to the egg. That one's completely cooled off now. I love that butterfly. And I'm going to use my nail file and I'm gonna remove all the extra napkin that's along the edge with a downward stroke. This is a great way to do it. The edge is nice and clean and smooth. And with a napkin, it's so thin and sheer, it's really easy to do with a nail file. Just want to go all the way around the egg until you get all of it off. Okay, look at that. Oh, it feels so nice. Okay, so let's do the carrot. And I'm going to do it the same way. Now, the only thing with the carrot is that it's got that odd kind of indentations at the top where the, um, the floral part would be. Not the floral part, the greenery would be. It's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to work on that. Okay, yeah, see those little indentations? It's gonna take a little bit of time. All right, I'm gonna finish that up, and when I come back, we're gonna take a look at everything. My two Easter egg signs are done, and I used the wooden egg from the Dollar Tree, and they came out so cute. I love that bunny napkin. But you know, you can use any napkins or florals that you have. This is just to inspire you. And my little hack on how I did the iron-on method on these little ornaments. But remember, it really only works good for small ornaments like this. And you can see these projects and more on my group page, which goes right along with my YouTube channel. Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please give us a thumbs up. Hit the little bell for notifications and please share. Thank you to Art and thank you so much for watching.